fun to ban. Radiant Team Ban. Radiant Team to Ban. ban. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Team Liquids turn to ban. I'd be shocked, baby. So risky. Like, look what I'm gonna do. Ten seconds remaining. Get it too. Five seconds remaining. Radiant team. Oh, they're doing it! Whoa. They're landing the beast faster. Team Liquids turn to pick. Beastmaster. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Oh no, 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 not like this. Not like this. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Team Liquids turn to back. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds only remaining. He's one both of them. Is that right, two games? BG won with this. Undying, AA, Puck. Hey, they banned out. Fix the Rubik. Dying. We're not here. Life service. The possibility that. Team <clears throat> Liquids turn to battle. I mean, the Ori Puck was just strong. They he might as well give her. Radiant Team Ban. Wow. I guess that makes sense because. What else is there? Yeah, just trying. And what do you pick then? They don't need to. I think just low group. Ten seconds remaining. Yeah, I don't know, man. Leaving the transfer is very risky. Five seconds remaining. Win. That was a liquid win, obviously, against Beach in that last series. Yeah, that was it. 
Team Liquid's turn to pick. Do they do it, but I... Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Radiant team pick. Keeper oh. of the light. Oh. No idea. Ten seconds remaining. That, that was what I was thinking. I don't know if Five seconds remaining. Okay. We already have weird pictures. Team Liquid's turn to pick. Flada. Ten seconds remaining. Say it a couple. Five seconds remaining. But yeah, it's better than this. Radiant team pick. Brewmaster! Yeah, I have no idea what Crow. Crow Price? Team Liquid's turn to back. Weaver! Radiant Team Ban. Ten seconds remaining. <coughs> Radiant team pick. <laughs> team liquids turn to pick. Storm spirit. Works. Bit of both. They have some lockdown. Ten seconds remaining. Too greedy, apparently. Five seconds remaining. Matchup. Like, what do you want? Miracle mid. I just well, then I don't think that. They, uh, go through I just want to. Like 
Templar assassins your hero. That's more scaling. GH Shaker. Girl Coddle. Wow. I guess Shaker's more important to, like, in terms of the calls, like the plays. Prepare for battle. All right, thanks so much, guys. Game four is underway now. Liquid versus Vici Gaming. Liquid trying to even this series up and force a game five. In this best of five series, Vici Gaming taking the first two games rather handedly, and then a third game dominant performance from Liquid here, Trent, as we get into this game. Both sides have an interesting draft. We might see a smoke yeah, engagement. Liquid are ready for it this time. They've yeah. seen this a few times They today. have Fisher. They're going to see it with GH here in a moment. He can maybe go for a block play. They're really sitting here. Kuroki's got the Illuminate ready, and Lana He's the one in trouble. He walks up to the high ground. Good crush coming in. But the Fisher block is beautifully done. Can they get out of this? The lift might save them for now. GH is still chasing. And one range auto attack from GH does the job. They're looking for more. Young 11 also getting chased down. Fenrir's on the wrong side of this too. The Illuminate will hit onto him. But Fenrir, he's the one that's really in trouble. Fisher is back up. They've got the clap. He'll try to eat his way through. Telkinis is back in five. GH looking for that block. And he will find it. There's the clap along with it. And a couple of more auto attacks. And Liquid. Like you mentioned, Trent, they were very ready for that engagement at the beginning of the game. You can see Mind Control using the barrel to get the increased speed there once again here. So he keeps approaching into his opponents, taunting away. And excellent positioning there. They and they get three. And they might get Paparazzi. He has no Scucci. They're looking for another Fisher. He's going to fall. No, the Fairy Fire is still up for three seconds. They need that Scucci, but it's just not there in time. That is beautifully done again from Liquid, although Kuroki getting chased down. They're turning their attention to GH instead. Young 11 axes back up in two with that damage damp ready to go, but mind control, body blocking away. Lanham cannot chase him down, and Liquid, three bounty runes, three kills, and a great start to this game as even Matumba Man will get a solo lane for himself up top to start things off. Looks like a uh, hero of the day there for GH with the early Mango coming into play. Yes. He is, uh, he is feeling it now on this Earthshaker. It was interesting uh, deciding, trying to figure out exactly who's going to play what. Kuro, they're going to be on the Coddle. Obviously, two very signature GH heroes here in the Earthshaker and the right. King for the Light. But I think uh, in the end, just the plays from GH, the way that he's always kind of that big initiator who has to make the calls, much more important on the Shaker compared to the Coddle. Uh, Mind Control is stunned up down bottom here. Going to just kind of wiggle himself away here, but he doesn't have a passive quite yet, so all these right clicks connecting. Illuminate, there's the Telekinesis, Slytherin Crush is back up, and that should be a kill on Paparazzi. They will get it back from that early game disaster, and uh, they will take down this offlaner, so. Slider are just so good against these heroes that think they can bully a little bit in the offlane, but he just never runs out of crush. He's now got a clarity on up, and with it only being 80 mana cost, he's going to have three more here once he's filled. So we have uh, we talked about heroes during the draft that maybe Miracle might play, and you you thought about heroes that scale, and in fact, TA is one that does this. But maybe you have some lockdown issues here against the Storm Spirit, against the Weaver. I mean, how do you feel about that for Liquid? Yeah, I think uh, most teams in these situations, like a Puck, seems to be one of those heroes that you start to look towards. Uh, someone that can just kind of start these fights off, get things going, create a uh, spot for Mind Control to follow up on. But it's just not really something we're used to from Liquid. They definitely want. Kind of double scaling. If Matumba Man's not on Viper or Venno or something, when he's guaranteed to be on this lone druid, yep. you still don't expect things to change very much for Miracle. So we'll have to see if a GH can pick up the slack in terms of that control element. Already getting a lot of bounty runes. In fact, he gets two while Kuro gets one for himself too. Yeah. So they're they're cleaning up. In fact, I think Kuro got two too. They just got all four bounty runes. Yeah, they just cleaned house across the map. And GH, he's going to try to find something mid, but there is some backup. 
Fisher will be canceled nicely, so Ori only sitting at half HP, and against Miracle, that could be very dangerous, something to keep in mind. So, I mean, we'll see, man. It, it's looking pretty good so far, but they will crush Miracle. He doesn't, he just got enough mana, I should say, for this uh, refraction, but... Uh, at least he has a uh, arcane. Yeah, the arcane rune, the crush. Helpful. Oh my God, the damage! Miracle needs to be careful. He still has the refractions in Salvin Wand charges. Another Slytherin crush baiting it out. Miracle almost going to find this kill, but stays too long. It'll be a one-for-one -one trade, but the experience going Ori's way along with that slaughter as well. So Miracle. Perhaps getting a little too aggressive there. It's just so hard to get a feel for how much that crush is going to be able to do to you with the arcane rune. He might not have even noticed it too, so you don't really have that natural read on it. And super important to get that done. He was doubling up. In fact, he's actually tripling the storm spirit right now. 600 compared to 1800. Maybe that's just a courier issue or something, but things uh, not looking too good. No, that is just straight up what's happening. And, and it's so, the experience. Oh too. no, wait. All right, we're we're chill. There's a bottle there. It's, well, it's okay. Bottles on Lenham. Everything's fine, guys. Calm down. It's still early. Let's not worry too much. Let's not freak out. Oh, they got to pause. They got to take a second. Yeah, I, I would too after that. I was getting <laughs> real concerned right there. Aaron, wait a second. You're getting tripled by a TA. What's happening? What's my bottle, on? guys? It's okay. Don't even worry. Nobody panic. Uh, they aren't. They're going to DC real quick here on Paparazzi. So we'll be back in the game in just a moment. Uh, just looks like a random disconnect issue. We'll get more information when we can. But... As of right now, Liquid, I mean, they had those three kills at the beginning of the game. They've gotten so many bounty runes to start things off with. They have Matumba Man free farming in the top lane. Miracle, up until that death, was essentially free farming mid. I, I think right now, it's again, it's a very good start for Liquid, but we've seen that before in these first two games in the series. So. Yeah, I'm not sure who I'm favoring overall with the draft. Uh, I don't think it's a super clear victor. I do like a lot of the synergies on the side of VG Gaming. A lot of vision coming out from the Slardar, from the Beastmaster, even just kind of weaver scooching around. And just a glimpse can be enough for a Storm Spirit to get that perfect jump and start a fight off right. Uh, on the other hand, they do have to get to that point where he has those items and that strength, those levels. Top and uh, there's a chance Miracle just snowballs way too hard and gets into an early Roche. Lanham and Fenrir are going to go for a smoke around. It is level 5 Lone Druid, so we and they need some help here. Savage Roar coming out might keep him alive. Lanham is doing his best to body block here. And the Fisher GH there times it perfectly. And now they've got the Root as well. Lanham might be in trouble. The Bear will go down. They don't have enough damage. Not yet anyway. The deny from a Tumba man. Well played indeed. Damn, Ooh. that's actually so much gold. I mean, that's a kill, right? If yep. you get that early on in the game, 300 gold is just ridiculous. That's some boots for any of these heroes that they're lacking them. And that could have been straight up Tranquils for Lanham. Yes, no such luck that time, though. He will have to head back home, hat in hand, empty-handed at this point, so nothing he could find there. Still, they do put some pressure on Matumba Man top lane, level 5, 23 last hits. Kuro's on the hunt. He's wandering around with these uh, one illusion and himself kind of baiting that one of them uh, is an illusion, I'm sure, while he has the other guy waiting to stack, which he will get oh, over here. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Stacking with the illusion, really well done. This ancient will be stacked up for the TA. But uh, he's looking around, he's like, where's the Storm Spirit? You know, he's kind of going into those neutral camps where he expects Storm Spirit to be, but instead he's up here rather than down, and uh, Lanham just going to be able to grab some experience mid. Uh, illuminate. Paparazzi needs to be a little careful. He does have Shikuchi back up, ready to go. There's the clap. They dropped the sentry. He doesn't have time ups. He's still level 5, but no way to really lock him down, especially without Fisher. If GH is there, maybe they get a kill, but he's roaming around the map elsewhere uh, towards the top rune spot for him. And we were looking at that bottom ancient stack, but the top one is even more ridiculous. That's, his, uh, that's a quad stack. Yeah, that is huge. It's going to be a lot of farm coming out for Miracle at this point. And uh, he should be able to get there rather quickly. He's going to be going for treads first. Um... He's got 38 CS, and of course, I mean, Ori was essentially forced to jungle for a bit until the wave came in, but now Lanham's coming in. He's got the crush ready. GH, they missed the crutch, and GH didn't actually have enough mana, although he did have a soul ring for Fisher, so he should have been able to save Miracle one way or the other. And the best part about this TA coming so late in the draft. Oh, Ooh, dive down mind bottom, control, bottom. Control. Yeah, he's in trouble. One more auto attack. Paparazzi will find a solo kill. Taking some tower hits. Going to try to bring Kuroki down as well. The Illuminate, not nice. going to be there. And it's going to be a double kill for Paparazzi. So Paparazzi, really well done there. Just somehow making something out of nothing.
Yeah, they really want to get as early in the lead uh, as they can on some of these side lanes, especially the Beastmaster and the Weaver. Uh, you want him rotating around. You want Beastmaster to have the six and high levels into the Hawks because he's the one that needs to stop that uh, Ancient from being exploited from Miracle. This was a late TA pick. They don't have a core that can actually take Ooh. these Ancients. GH, Telekinesis up, and he will fall. And that's a third kill Paparazzi gets involved in. This time it's picked up by Fenrir, but that's three quick kills across the board going Vici's way, and all of a sudden, this uh, Weaver, he's up and towards the top of that worth. He's almost tied with Miracle in that mid lane. Yeah, this tower, though, they need to save this for the Radiant. They want those rotations to be able to come through from there so they can defend that Ancient Camp that the Dire have stacked up. If they lose this tower, that means, yes, Beastmaster might be able to scout out Miracle, but it's going to take a while for people to actually rotate and do something about it. Yeah, it's already pretty low, this tier 1 tower. There's a couple of side traps around as well, plus a ward, which will be just awarded by Fenrir mid. There's still a lot more vision around this mid lane, though, to scout things out. I mean... They've got everything they need in order to try to take this. They just need a couple more heroes to come in. And uh, we will see. But looking at Miracle's build right now, he has the Desolator in his shift by. So sometimes we'll see that Blink Tagger, but it looks like he wants more of that pushing presence and that Roshan presence as well. Yeah, I definitely agree. I think uh, you want the rain to initiate into you, so your Brewmaster has an easier time. Top lane, they're trying Ooh, to get the they get the root seven. too. He's pretty tanky on this Beastmaster. Not done yet. Here comes Paparazzi. Good Savage Roar. The Axes are there, and Matumba Man will fall. He got another root. He's just one auto attack away, but there's nobody here. And they're looking for GH. He has Fisher in five, but it looks like he should fall again. Maybe another Slytherin Crush. They pop the sprint. The Crush will come in. The Illuminate's going to come out. GH needs an enchant. Still in trouble. The Fisher. He gets one kill out of it. GH. Now he makes something out of nothing, essentially. And yeah. Miracle is working on this tier one tower still. Just can't quite find it. Man, a little bit greedy, I would say, from Young Eleven to not use the Roar there. It got really close, but the fact that he didn't now means it's ready for a rotation. Could see him possibly try and hunt down Miracle come into that mid lane and help Paparazzi, who's already owning 4, 1, and 2, 33 last hits, and still a bit behind Miracle on the charts, but to be expected considering Miracle hasn't really had too many issues in his own lane. We'll see if Miracle can start carrying. He's taking these Ancient Stacks. He's at DD. This is the perfect time to do it. Oh, Bottom Ancient Stack insane. being taken, and he still has the top Ancient Stack oh, to work with as well. Are. They're rotating right past. They have no idea this is happening. I don't even think they expect it. But they might find somebody bottom. Mind Control is very far up. He does have Split, which might save him. Paparazzi is chasing. Matumba Man is here as well, but they need to back up and get out for now. Roar should be up, and there it is. Matumba Man's going to get caught again. Fade Bolt. Clap will come through. No, not in time. The Split coming out. He's going to cancel it. He's under the tower. They really want to force this. The Fisher coming in. Mind Control still under the tower. There's the Drunken Ace. They've got the Ensnare from the Dark Troll Warlord. Really going to work on Mind Control. They really want to force this. The Illuminate. Time Lapse comes out of the perfect time for Paparazzi. I think he might have survived anyway, but still a lot of damage being done, but Miracle in the meantime, mid lane, takes that tier 1 tower finally. Yep, great objective for them. Very nice that they were able to save the splits. They might be able to use that in aggressive fashion rather than having to waste it to live under a tower, but good rotation from Young Eleven. Yes, they missed out on the Ancient stack, but killing Matama Man, slowing him down. They have two very greedy cores here in the Templar Assassin and the Lone Druid, and Matama Man's still building into a Midas right now. So the, he's really it's planning for later into the game. Actually, pretty considering how this game's been going. Yeah, he's for him. Ha he's got it essentially. Yeah. I mean, he I will say he had a great start. I mean, he had a free lane for a little while until they started rotating up there. So Matumba Man made the some fact nice that he plays has too with the roots. It, exactly. So I mean, he's getting stuff done, and, and it's just more room so for Miracle on the other Radiant side. There's Radiant Ward up here too, spotting Miracle, but Young Eleven. Oh, a Regen Rune. Okay. Right. Well, that's convenient. Now At least now there might be a chance to do something, but I don't even think so. He's just gonna leech. It looks like. Yeah. Not the dream. And just sidesteps the Illuminate, too. But Miracle's the one that's getting all the farm here. And, and Desolator is done in, like, 500 gold. Yeah, they're fine with this. They, you know, yeah, it's not ideal. Oh, what a bounce back from Kuro. Yeah, that was huge. Young Eleven, the Illuminate coming out. They're looking for the Fisher. There it is. They need more damage. And Miracle is in on top of him. That will be a nice pickoff. Meanwhile, there was action happening bottom. I think it was under the tower, but... It looks like nothing else is going to come of it, so. And that's one thing about Caudal right at level 6, too. I mean, we don't even see uh, hero, like, support players often get the uh, the ulti at 6, but in that situation, knockback, the blinding light, it, uh, it only scales in terms of the blind, right? You always have that pretty sick range that you can send someone flying back, so extremely well played by Kuroki there. Just kind of see that situation and say, hey, I could actually uh, maybe just get a free kill for you there, Miracle. Yeah, we know what he's capable of, and level 6 for him for now, just farming up like crazy with the Illuminate. He'll start getting some room soon hopefully but again like they're giving a lot to gh2 he's got soul ring he's got tranquils wants to get to six wants to get to that blank dagger still a little ways away though in terms of getting that next item up onto the um earth shaker yeah but uh, probably just waiting for mind controls and then we'll try and get something done with miracle here 
Paparazzi diving, has the time-lapse, really wants the 300 gold from the bear. Can they get the root? The Savage Roar comes out. He gets the root, but the time-lapse comes in. Who got the bear? Did you see? Or was it just dead from something else? I did not. I think it might have been the Fable, but okay. I couldn't tell. Well, either way. Still, they'll take the bear down. Good stuff. Top lane, they're kind of setting up. More like TA setting up. Look at this. Yeah. He's really waiting. Ori's not the target he wants to go on, which, by the way, we haven't seen much of, but he's third in the net worth. Ori's done a great job of staying in this game. Yeah, the tomb just kind of staying next to up here, too, so maybe they'll expect, like, a smoke. Oh, he's Clap going in with that the blink. split. Ori's just getting out. He's already low in mana, though. He needs to be careful. Miracle's oh, going to walk. Miracle. And there's going to be the Fisher. They're going to grab the kill, and they might get two. The Cyclone keeping the Beast Master up in the air. Fenris here. I don't know if they're going to die. This is Paparazzi TP's in, looking for GH. They're trying to find anything. They're looking for the Earth Panda, and he's about to come out. He has blink, but it's on cooldown for now. But here we go. I think Miracle's running in. They want a target out of this, but the Telekinesis is there. He has the death, so Young Eleven's got to run. Side trap in three seconds, and Young Eleven might be in trouble. GH keeping to the tower. He's going to get dropped with a meld strike. Center Cocker stomp. There's the Echo Slip. The Enchant Totem. Miracle gets a double kill and a dominating spree. Oh, he just got enough mana here, too. The, the blinding the light. Kuro again. again is on point once more. They even relocate him and rather recall him in to get Miracle a triple kill. GH even just got a kill mid on the slider as well. The TP's top to help out there with the Echo Slam. And how about Miracle setting up for that so well? It looked just like that play early in the tournament with the Shadow Blade on the Slark, where he was lurking in the trees, waiting for that big item reveal, hiding in the side on the courier. Same thing here. He gets into that back line. He knows where Mind Control wants to start and force the fight. Perfectly anticipated where the Storm Spirit would go, and he's able to reveal the Deso with a humongous explosion onto his opponent. That is a lot of gold now going Liquid's way, and perhaps a Tier 1 tower top to top it all off the cherry on top, if you will, as Miracle, he pushes his team forward to a 6k net worth advantage, 8200 net worth on his own hero, and uh, now working on that blink dagger, so... And, and all the meanwhile, Matumba Man was just farming, I believe. I don't think he was involved in any of that. He's just sitting bottom, he's working on Radiance now, he's got the Midas kicking in too, so... Alright. Yeah. It used to be Queen of Pain we'd see all the time with the Lone Druid. It's this hero that could create a ton of space at this time in the game. And Templar Assassin's a hero that can do it as well, but only if she has a really good start. And that's something that Liquid have enabled very well here yep. with all of these ancient stacks. Again, more vision from Lanham here, but the question is, can you do anything about it? Yes, they're, you're watching her farm all of this, but you're just leeching some experience. I, I mean, they're looking elsewhere. They were trying to find GH, but I don't even know if they want to go for this. Kuro is nearby. Now they're running in. Ball Lightning Miracle might be in trouble. He has no refraction for two. Jump in. There's the clap. They should have split available. So they're in Crush coming in. He needs the refraction. Gets it off just in time, plus the root, or is it triple chance on him? Miracle, how does he survive every time? And Lottom might be next. Finally, they will get Kuro elsewhere, but Lottom is about to get dropped. Looking for the swing crush, they've got the blank dagger. Miracle just purchased it. It's a double kill. A wicked six free as well. Uh, Paparazzi thinks about coming in to try and clean this up, but he knows. It's a bit too risky right now. Just can't afford to lose anyone else. Miracle's completely out of control here. 9,300 gold, and this is before they even take Roche. He is playing dangerously. He has, like, no HP. He had... Oh, he melded that Gemini attack, too. That was nice. Oh, how about a, a, refer, a regen rune there, bud? <laughs> How's that sound? Miracle, oh, the race this. to the regen. Paparazzi. Oh, does he have blink? Fisher? Blink, blink. Fisher? Yes. Nicely done. The Fisher! They need more damage. The Enchant Totem! GH does it again! You've got to be kidding me. The Roar will come out now. He's Maybe they get regening. Miracle. They're going to have him down. It looks like finally they get the trade. That is a wicked six breed taken by Ori. They get the jump. But still, more damage being done by Liquid with GH just going ham. I love this play, though. They need to go into the Roche Spirit. They really don't have a choice. Get this Aegis on top of the Storm Spirit. Try and claw your way back into this one. Slow down Miracle. Don't give him any better chance of snowballing. What better place to pop all of your summons for Beastmaster? Uh, Help GH out with that kill has go a, right in. He has enough for Blink Dagger, and this Roche is taking way too long. If he can send out the Blink Dagger, they have Echo. It is only level 1. They're going to smoke up. It's not here yet. They're going to start with the clap, it looks like, and GH will follow up, just walking in at this point. Fisher's going to come through. There's the clap. The split will come in. Echo Slam. They've got the damage. Everybody's low. The Illuminate comes out too dead. GH might fall. Or he tried to do whatever he can. The buyback will come in from the Rubik. Now the Beastmaster's getting low. Still chasing him down on the other side of the fight. Can they chase and get this kill? The boulder toss, the damage, is it enough? Mind control still stunned, but he gets the crit with the auto attack damage. Now looking for Paparazzi, who's back in the fray. 
They're looking for Fenrir. Miracle's in. Jumps in. Gets the melt strike. Gets the kill. Three down. Liquid again. Perfect timing there. They don't even need the blink dagger on GH to make that fight Ori go perfectly. Ori also used the shrine, but he's sitting near TA trap, so they understand the storm spirit is nearby. Looking to make this play, so in comes mind control. Just the zone. He's a little far in now. He's gonna get pulled. He's got the clap on the drunken haze, but Miracle blows away one. It's lining him down, and Ori, he's got to retreat now on the back foot. Ball lightning, not enough mana. Miracle has blinked four more seconds. There's gonna be the clap. He's trying to do whatever he can. He's trying to reach in. Ori, one more auto attack. It's a double kill for Miracle. Even more damage being dealt. Four down for Vici. Liquid will take Roshan. No questions asked. That trap there for so long. I mean, that was the place where Miracle went for his initial backstab play with the Deso and paying off there to spot the potential snipe. The Hawk will come through. All it can do is watch as Rosh does fall to the Dire despite the best efforts of the Radiant here. And what looked like a snowball that could have been stopped is now just amassed into a uh, well, seemingly unstoppable force. It is looking rough, to say the least. We have seen some ridiculous comebacks this tournament, Trent, but they are 10k down with Vici Gaming. And, and you're dealing with a, a Matumba Man, Radiance, uh, Midas, Lone Druid Bear, and you have Miracle just popping off. It feels very tough for Vici Gaming right now. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. Plus, it's all backed up by a Keeper of the Light and an Earthshaker. Two of the supports, they're very happy to take a game a little bit later, get some items. So if uh, they want to bring this back from the side of VG Gaming, it has to be almost flawless. You're looking for big execution plays from the Storm Spirit in tandem with the Slardar, focusing down a target and then pressing forward from there with the heavy chase that they do have. Much easier said than done, though, is Miracle will begin the assault and try and finish this tower. Here we go. Miracle getting caught out. Perhaps Roar will come in. They want this Aegis. Fisher coming in to save him for now. Can he get the refraction off? Not in time. They will grab the Aegis, and now he might be in trouble, in fact. A little far up. They did use Roar for that. I think they're ditching him. And they, they are. They're going to ditch Miracle. Dead for 52. A lot of gold going the way of Fenrir and crew. VG Gaming finding a big pick, and that's the start here. That's how they get back into this game. This has almost become a signature for VG, just forcing instantly onto the Aegis. Yep. They don't wait at all. They go right away, and you know, it pays off because the Echo Slam wasn't ready. GH, yeah, he's farmed. He's got a Blink Dagger, but he couldn't make that big play. If there's an Echo there, uh, that's a total disaster for yeah. VG Gaming. But it was just 20 seconds away, and it looks like VG Gaming were fully aware of that. You got to take risks if you're VG, and they do it perfectly there. A little bit ahead of themselves, I, I would have to say, for Liquid, right? Yeah. Maybe you just wait a little bit, and that's so much easier. But they lose Miracle. They're still ahead 9K, but there are some very big items coming out for Vici Gaming. You have the Diffusal Blade coming in. That was just picked up by Paparazzi. Ori is so close to that next item, that Bloodstone coming in. Uh, Young Eleven has a Necro 2. I think he just purchased up the Necro 3. In fact, there it is. Yep. So there are some very big items here for Vici Gaming, and this game is by no means over, Trent. Nope. Uh, and there are some heroes that like to play alone this game, right? The uh, Lone Druid especially, if they can find something. Oh, it's, it's right in his name, you know, actually. But uh, <laughs> with the Necro 3, right? Just a quick roar into a zip. My Tum Man could go down. Uh, he'll have to be very cautious with his bear, trying to make those big Savage Roar plays. And uh, maybe just baiting a little bit here. As he's sitting down, but Radiant Vision will spot these rotations. They are aware these Dire Heroes are coming down for this push. No Aegis in tow this time. Shrine nearby does look like a decent spot to fight if you're the Radiant. Yeah, they might consider it. They're sitting mid for now. I wanted to ask, what do you think about uh, Liquid getting a gem here in the near future? Is that something you want to consider, especially with Kuroki picking up this uh, Ags pretty soon on the Keep of the Light? Maybe post Ags. Uh, he hasn't uh, gone the GH formula. He does not have his four staff first. For shame. I mean, GH, I'm sure, a little disappointed right now. Yeah, but, sure uh, We've talked a lot about maybe the greed of these two supports. They want a lot of gold, so it's very difficult to afford the gem early on. But uh, certainly a viable option for them once they do have that daylight vision. Vision just been so important for them, I and mean, we've seen what the TA traps have done. Yeah, exactly. They'll take the tier two tower bottom, and with that vision on the side trap, they'll see 11. They use it, looking for a Fisher. They're gonna find it, and no, it actually hits on no one. The roar is there. Miracle a little too far in, but the Fisher will save him for now. Miracle still in trouble, trying to fight Paparazzi. They'll get Young 11. The split comes out. They've got the Boulder toss. So they're in crush, saving the lives of a couple here for now. Or he's jumping in. Miracle refraction into. They need help. There's the Echo Slam. The Enchant to Miracle. Can he blow him up in time? He cannot. He had the Mel Strike in one, but not quite there in time. Paparazzi's getting low. Has to time lapse away. The Savage Roar was almost there. It's three down for Vici Gaming. They've got to run. Only their two cores remain. And Liquid somehow, seemingly out of nowhere, take a huge fight towards this Tier 2 tower. Tier 2 bottom down. Tier 2 mid next on the list. Checking them all off. Looking in towards the next Roche. It's four minutes away. But it looks like it's going to be four minutes of pain for VG. Is you can't really expect Liquid to risk anything. Well, they shouldn't, but we shall see.
They were waiting on this uh, Kuroki Ags. He's about to, to have it here in a couple hundred gold. They have now a Vlad's as well for the Brewmaster on mind control, so... Lots of minus armor this game, too. Exactly. So, 16k advantage here for Liquid, and uh, Miracle will have a Lincoln's now, too, to work on, so... All right. This feels like the last hope to me. Uh, it's going to be Lonham. He's going to have this Blink Dagger soon. We still have a Bloodstone with 14 charges for Ori. Awesome. This has to be that last chance for them. Try and get this built up. And uh, maybe Ori can be, become a beast of his own. Even if he's so far down in net worth, that Bloodstone can do wonders if you get enough charges. Yep. And uh, has to be some really successful roars here from Young Eleven as well. Yeah, you're right. The crushes, the roars, they're going to have to be perfect here in a lot of these fights. This much advantage for, for Liquid. If they're playing as five at the very least, it's going to be very difficult to take these engagements. A lot of wards being placed down in the meantime by Liquid across the map. A couple in the mid lane. One on the Super Cliff, and then another on the Uber Cliff to the north, which we saw be very successful for Vici earlier in the tournament. Uh, rather in the series, but... Everything going Liquid's way as of now. 21 minutes in. Next Roshan is going to be three minutes away, so we still have time for that. If Liquid want to play slow until that Roshan responds, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, there's just no real punish uh, against the full team together. And Caudal obviously very good at facilitating that. Keeping everyone together by pulling them around the map, especially once his, he has his Aghanims and it's delivered out. I mean, then they never have to be apart. It's perfect. Uh, single target pickoff is what we've been talking about. It's the Slardar and the Storm Spirit working together. Maybe a Weaver plus one, two, the Beastmaster. It's all single target. So as long as we're grouped up, playing together, we can't lose this lead that we have. It's 16k. This isn't something that can just fade away from five manning. No. It's not quite that newbie Virtus Pro game from, I believe it was yesterday, but... It is still something to consider liquid. Oh. If there's anything that's a liquid signature as of late, it's getting this Aghanims around this timing, waiting for the daybreak, yep. and they just feel completely they just shut it down, essentially. They're going to take the tier 3 with the bear, perhaps? Not quite in time. Diffusal coming out. The bear might be in trouble. Lonham's going to have the Slytherin Crush. Sator throws up the Shockwave. I don't even think they can kill him. Even with the Corrosive Haze, they have to back him up, and the uh, bear will be fine for now. 55 more seconds till the heals will come out. Yeah, so take things slowly if you're Liquid Miracle. Now working on a Bloodthorn, it looks. We'll see if that can't be done here in the next few minutes. Vici are going to... I think they might have smoked yeah, on top of that top side of trap. That trap. Yeah. yeah, so they'll have been spotted. At least one of them will. Fisher will hit. Now they're going to look for Aura, the Enchant Totem. Mind Control jumping in with a great clap coming in. The split will come in. Somehow Liquid are taking this fight. Miracle looking for Ori. He's going to have to jump away. Getting low. Another blanket from Miracle. They've got the Shrine. That will keep Ori fighting fit for now. Taking a lot of damage. The bear going to work. So far, one dead. That's just Young Eleven. Echo Slam coming up. They're looking for Paparazzi. He should have the time last right. He does. He will need to use here an Illuminate coming in. There's the Savage Roar. They want more damage to the Enchant Totem. Oh, nice. They'll find him. GH has been playing beautifully with the help of Mind Control to follow it up. It's a double kill and a dominating spree for him. And that is Four down for Vici Gaming, or the lone survivor as the, uh, I believe the Slaughter is just respawning finally. Now move in and finish off this tier 3 tower, and perhaps a full set of Rapture Trend. Well, you Maybe can't blame them though, they went for the fight while it was still nighttime, wouldn't have to worry about the heal, and they saw that once they got high ground in daylight, there was no chance they could stop them. Liquid, they've cleaned up mid, they've cleaned up bottom, you saw it happen. Are they this gonna is what it was for. Oh man, it's, they're sitting at 2-1 right now, but they're about to even the series up and force a game five. Liquid taking down this mid racks. One racks to go, there is a tier two in the way, so they will have to back up for now, wait for yep. Roche, which might respawn in 12 seconds, try to find some more kills and uh, finish this game off for this dire team. That's pretty much the only thing that we're waiting on here. Or he will manage to find himself out here. Yes. Nothing Kuro will be able to do even if he can get to him. I think he had the vision, but it doesn't really matter. No initiation. Nobody was close enough anyway. So, they'll push down. They'll take the mid-tier 2 tower. Just going through that checklist now. Trent, a 25k net worth adma ad advantage, which is almost insurmountable, I want to say. I don't want to say it's impossible for Vici, but it feels pretty rough at this point. Just an understatement, I'm sure. <laughs> I would say so. Thanks, Trent. I appreciate yeah. it, buddy. Uh, I'd say it's the end of the line here. Barring some insane circumstances. But uh, we'll, we'll have to just wait and see. Of course, no chance they're going to GG out. Maybe the last one was a bit early. One of yes. those GGs. But 25 minutes in, and Liquid have performed phenomenally. Their team fight absolutely on point. The farm from Atumba Man as well as Miracle have been on point. And uh, they even have a Moon Shard on Miracle, so he's got some serious attack speed to work with. And... They're going to maybe try to siege high ground here. It is daytime. They have the Illuminate heal so ready to go. Two minutes left, too. 
They're going to try to find Lanham. Fisher doesn't come in. Take down a Hawk in the meantime. Wow, double miss, really? Yeah, I just <laughs> I thought that Hawk was dead, but that's a classic double miss right there, let me tell you. Well, we'll see if the vision is enough to give them a hand here. They they have a side trap in Roche. There's really no reason for Liquid to commit to this too hard. Might need to be careful. Clap comes in. It actually was missed by Mind Control. They still kill on him anyway because, you know, you're ahead a million gold. Illuminate will come in. They'll take the Tier 3 tower. They're not going to have the ball lightning. The pull they want. Kuroki, they're going to find it, but they have the Echo Slam, the Enchant Totem. Plenty of damage. They lock Ori down. Dead for 40. They have to buy back on Lana, but this is going to be Mega Creeps coming in for Liquid. And at this point, the game just seems lost. They're going to find another three down. It looks to be four. GG is called, and Liquid will force game number five. Ah, it turns out solo echoes are still okay when you have a guy with a Deso Moon Shard next to you. Yeah. Who would have thought? He That'll help. Uh, damage doesn't matter so much. Just holding them still. And how about GH this game? So oh, many yeah. great stuns. Such early rotations. Like that play where he gets the Fisher kill mill onto a slider. TP stop gets an echo with no items. I mean, that's kind of stuff that just wins a game for a shaker because they were running hot. It's pretty greedy. Coddle that's, and shaker. That is an insane play to make. That is an absolute insane play to make from GH. And really the rest of Liquid.